guys after a girl for her taxes. Baby girl. What do you get? Who, what girl, type of guys are where you baby find girl, these niggas? If you love that man. <laughs> oh, and Jesus. you feel like and you feel like this is the right decision. But how? You trust that man. What is he doing? And you know he has a plan for I your family. And he will get you through any storm. I just you do what you have to do. Give that up. <laughs> He's the head of the household, lady. You know he loves you. I don't know. He has your best I, I interest in mind. Taking give, him, your money. give him those taxes. Let him. Like I said, I think it's cool to do him, things for your man. Let him file the kids. Come on, when you really put him Both up and shit. Rose and some OJ, fuck that Molly and that cocaine. Hoes be in my section asking questions, what you smoking? Tell her, shut up while I'm rolling. Don't you interrupt my focus. Me, I smoke them blunts and let them hoes hit all them roaches. You that nigga. Welcome back to the Blunt Exchange. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Episode Cheer. 15. Can you say? I'm your host, Aim Gunner. I would like to thank you for pulling up, rolling, rolling up, up, lighting up, up, and keeping and it blunt, blunt with us. Yeah. To my left, I have... Yo, it's okay. Crump. What's popping? Pablo, a.k.a. Bleak. And the special guest in the studio. Today, we have none other than the one and only, talk to him, <laughs> Stephanie Santiago. Give us, give us stats. Yo, it's yo. Oh, Oh, the original. Uh, the original. You might know her from lip service. Uh, you might know him for your favorite videos. Uh, you yeah. might know her from one of the most influential New Yorkers ever. Uh, yeah. One of the most beautiful New Yorkers. What year was that? Every every year, right? How many every years you been on that? Still, to this oh, day, yeah, the 2020. Post, the post, the post. Yeah. Yeah, they be holding yeah. you down. Yeah. They know who you are. Yeah. <laughs> and we have her on our show in our studio. Wow. Yeah. Wow! Thank how you guys. First how guest, do, how first do guest, we, first, first guest, guest on the, of the podcast? Too. And let's be let's be uh, let's give credit where credit is due. Uh, Crump, yeah, good looks, man. You already know. This is all you. I right appreciate here. Steph doing the show. Real talk. That's Facts. my people. Good That's my guy. We work on lip service together. You dig? And that is. And I always like doing other podcasts. Nice. We and made it. We did Especially it. Especially a smoking podcast. You guys already know. <laughs> we finally, we did it, guys. We made it. Yeah. We're big time now. Retire now. We we're can retire now. That's it. We're done. That's it. That's this it. is the last I'm episode. We this. did it. Can't get no better. Uh, you won't see me next week. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Duh. We're on, we're on vacation. He's getting money now. <laughs> yes. We're on vacation after this. It's yeah, over. It's over. <laughs> so, guys, how was your week? Yo, uh... It was cool. Valentine. It was Valentine's Day. Me yeah, and my shorty yeah, went out. Valentine's okay. Weekend. I mean, we okay. went out to dinner, exchanged a couple. We gifts. don't get we don't get into Valentine's yeah, Day, but, but that's yeah, know. yeah. We we got to. Okay. Okay. Facts. Facts. Bleak Valentine's Day. Yeah, man. Valentine's weekend. You know how, how was that, that is. That was awesome. Anything I else kept, happened? In I mean, the I kept it light. I kept it at the crib. Kept it light. You made any Hell babies? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Did I try? Did I try? Yeah. I definitely tried. Hey. Hey. I definitely tried. <coughs> Steph, how was your week? My Valentine's Day was cool, but I got a funny Valentine's Day story. Oh, here we go. Oh. Here we go. So, um, so my homegirl, she's dating a criminal, currently dating a criminal. Okay, okay. Right most, most people are. So he went and he bought her all this nice stuff for Valentine's Day. He sent Swag. pictures to her friends and everything of the gifts. Swipey, mm-hmm. swipey. And he ended up getting into a high-speed chase with the law and had to abandon the car. Did he make it and home? He ended up, she had to pay his Uber and oh. um, he didn't have no gifts. Oh. Except for the, oh, oh, no, no, no. He had the, he had he the had, ultimate, he had no, no, no. In the car. He had the ultimate gift because I've heard that from women all the time. Valentine's Day gift. Here's the D, baby. Yeah. Right? I mean, girls be rapping. got it from the run. Girls be trying to give now. I mean, I just and saw her. You just need to be grateful that he made it through that, man. It's, especially oh, if you're dating bless. a criminal, you got to know this. That's crazy, There's right? There's things that go along okay. with that, dating a criminal. You got to be ready for that. That's what I told her. I was like, you know, that's that's part of the game. Nah. But, Stephanie, let me ask you a question. Oh, Why God. do so many women think that an appropriate gift for Valentine's Day is just box? I don't think that. Mm, okay. I think you got a mm. real a, a real bum ass bitch if she don't buy you something for Valentine's Day. At Word. least a card, some candy, something he likes. Do uh. something cute. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think just giving. If you don't have money, make him something. You True. know, okay. you can, gotta get, get crafty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Make the two some ha- make the threesome happen. Yeah. Yeah. Birthday Even, threesome. Valentine's no, but Day that's threesome. box. That's an extra box. For, <laughs> that's two that's boxes. A, additional for, box. That 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 counts as a gift. That's right? a plus one. I think that's, that's a, a plus one. That that is a plus one. <laughs> On to the party. You throw a party? <laughs> you can throw him a party. Yeah. You know what I mean? Throw him a party. Shit. Take you know some notes. I, mean? I think ladies, if um ladies and, and guys who whoever is listening, like 
if your girl, if you are a woman and you're not getting your man something for Valentine's Day, if your girl is not getting you something for Valentine's Day, she is a cold-hearted bitch. She's a yeah. bum-ass bitch. Get that bitch out of here. I, I agree with that. You know what I'm saying? And, and you should get a gift for Father's Day. You can't even, even if you're not a father. Yeah. You her daddy. She should oh. get a little something. Oh, man. Ladies, you hear that? To be a crazy up. gift. Ladies, you hear that? For you Father's know? Day, I need a gift. Yeah. Yeah. Even if it's you ain't got down. no kids. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I feel that. I feel like Christmas, all the holidays. You that's that's the thing. Um, men get left out for the holidays. I'm glad you said it. Wow. Yeah, Good and looks. I don't I don't agree with that. I have brothers and you know, I grew up with my brothers and I grew up, you know, I have a man. I was with a man, I was with a guy for eight years and you know, some of the years went by because I was really young with him and yeah. some of the years went by that I didn't get him a gift because I was I was selfish i was too into myself to think of him yeah. yeah you know what i mean and that that just show how that's just show how terrible i was in that relationship but do you think that's kind of like you've been conditioned to do that because when you think about no, Valentine's Day... No, he had to check Day, me like, hey, I'm a person too. Yeah, yeah. but when you think of Valentine's you know I mean? Day, so even he, the commercials, it's not a whole bunch of dudes receiving gifts. It's a whole bunch of dudes buying gifts for their females, yes. getting them chocolates, getting okay. them the roses, mm-hmm. the expensive dinner, and that's all. You don't see the men, hey, I bought you some drawers from the shorty. Oh, I bought you this, I bought you that. That's not, we're not conditioned for that. No, I think the um, I agree with you. It could be conditioning, but what's the? I don't understand where where does where do people get that from? That, that's because of commercials from TV. I, I think TV, shows, TV shows, TV shows, TV yeah, shows, like like like, Society, like anytime mostly. you watch a sitcom or something like that, how hard? Like all the times during let's let's say Martin, all the times he would go hard for Gina for Valentine's Day and get mad roses and mad stuff and fill yeah. the crib, like stuff like that. I feel. Did yeah. she ever get him a gift? You know what she? got I don't him. remember. You know what she mm-hmm. got him. I don't remember. A couple of hugs and kisses on the show. I yeah. just can't show anything. When they go into the room, when they go in the room, and you know then they go in the room. That's weak as fuck. But you know, I, I'm very grateful that I've had the kind of male influences in my life to teach me, like, hey, yeah. don't forget about your man. Definitely. So since we're talking about Valentine's Day and Valentine's Day gifts, what I thought was interesting, you know, during the holiday, you see all yeah. these uh, these posts on social media about you know what people get for Valentine's Day, mm-hmm. and I think. From watching some of these posts like we were talking <laughs> no. about, that there's a lot of dudes fucking up the game for us right oh, now. Oh, shit. They're fucking the game up. Yeah. Oh, man. Fuck Who got How do you out? fly a woman yeah, out? Yeah, here we go. Here we Thousands go. of dollars of gifts, rose petals all over the bed, the everything. Mm-hmm. And you do this to ask her to be your girlfriend. Oh, oh shit. shit. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no. Too soon. Wow. Like, she's like, oh, my gosh. He flew me out, got me all these gifts just so he could ask me to be his girl. Uh, and she was like, yes, babe. I was like, come on. Damn. I saw something else on social media. Is that, dude is that was like, overload? Dude was like, yo, I don't know what to get my girl for Valentine's Day. All on, all, yeah. all recording. Yeah. I don't know what to get my girl for Valentine's Day. So here's 10000 And, like, she's sleeping. And he just threw, like, a stack of 10000 on her. Allegedly 10000 uh, Who knows? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's like, oh. Uh, and Happy Valentine's Day, babe. And you're just uh, like, damn. That's like, not, damn. That's not real life. Yeah. That's not real. That's There's not no real. way that's real. You don't that really was go that hard for social media. So yeah, then what happens a, on yeah, her birthday? Yeah, that hit the social media. Yeah. Yeah. Was a, if you give yeah, her 10 racks on Valentine's Day, what happens on her birthday? <laughs> you better have 20 Well, Christmas. you must be rich. You must have 20. They didn't look rich. Yeah, they didn't look rich. <laughs> they, but no? they looks are just like he, he, they filed look ta- he filed his taxes early and got the return <laughs> quick. Damn, how many dependents oh, no. is that? Right, exactly. Sheesh. Best Valentine's Day Pull gift me you up. ever I got. Need that plug. Best Valentine's Best Day. Best Valentine's gift. Day gift you ever got. Oh, shit. Um. You Damn. got one, Bleak? Um, yeah, oh, no, was, yeah. You got one? Best, yeah, yeah. I got the best okay. Valentine's gift. It was something mad s- simple. Mm-hmm. It was all the etiquette I needed. She yeah. got you It was cool a portable gift. bag. Yeah. yeah. So that was the best, best Valentine's Day gift. We'll bleep that out Thank somehow. you. Yeah, yeah, I mean. Niggas know where you keep your b- now. It's like when attention to detail. Like they know what you like. They know what you need. And they get it for you. Nice catch, Bleak. You know it. Um, one Bleak, you have a best uh, Valentine's Day gift? Best Valentine's Day gift. Damn, I have a gotten. I've gotten a lot of gifts, man. Dead ass. See, best? that's, that's good. Yeah, no, seriously. It's hard? You deserve them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Best Valentine's Day gift? We'll my best here. Valentine's Day gift, um, my ex-boyfriend, our first Valentine's Day to the other, he took me on a vacation. Nice. Aww. And he, he did a lot of nice yeah. things on that's the nice. trip. It was last, really nice. Last week I told him yeah. that's a fire uh, gift for Valentine's Day for somebody you've been with for a little bit. Like maybe like yeah, six a months vacation. a year. A little vacation, a little weekend. Yeah. It was perfect this year because it was Friday, Saturday, yeah, Sunday. And it true. came back Monday. Shout out to... Shout out to him. And I said, we should see. <laughs> and Steph said, yeah. that's the best one she ever had. So I was uh, like, yeah. 
See, I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. You got a couple a couple episodes. And he was the type of guy to give me stuff all the time. So you know what I mean? A trip was it was special. Mm -hmm. And we we were we were still in the honeymoon phase. So I didn't really know him that much yet. So Mm -hmm. I still I still thought he was perfect at that time. It's really good. Nobody's perfect. No, I know that. It's all about about growth. (laughs) It's all about growth. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you need these lessons. All right, so Valentine's Day, we, we talked about the social media. Oh, so do you think that because of all this fire on Valentine's Day, that $10,000, uh-huh. the rose petals flewed out, anything you want for Valentine's Day, I don't even know you yet. What does that do for the regular man? How do we survive? How do, the, how do we tell them that this isn't real? Oh, what, to, for somebody who's been, for, for a female that might have got that for the first Valentine's or on Valentine's? We can, we can go that angle, but I'm, oh. angle I'm talking about as a regular man. Your girl is at home looking at this. Oh, she's, oh, she's watching it. Oh, Yo, this if, nigga if, ain't give me yo, shit. If, if my oh, shorty, shit. If my shorty got saw that and got tired or actually questioned me about it, I'd, I'd be like, yo, come on. Come on. <laughs> and if you're serious, shorty, we're done. Get, yeah. out, get the yeah, fuck like, out of here. What are you, what? Kick rock. Yo, that's get, so crazy. Just got, she just got ten thousand dollars. I can't get three. <laughs> <laughs> you get ten dollars. Like, I got you. Uh, with 10, honey, you, you you got like listen. I feel like this. If you're with a girl and she's looking at that and she's looking at you like you crazy, that this the wrong girl. That's the end. Yep. Because yeah. if that if you, if you my man, I'm not comparing you to this bullshit on social media. Like right. I'm not like they, have to, that they have to understand that that's bullshit. That's the first. Like step. you have to know your man. This like you true. have to know what your man is capable. Of. Now if he got it and he ain't giving it to you. Oh, yeah, that's That's out of different. You know what I'm saying? Yep. If he's a millionaire and you want $10,000, he ain't giving you $10,000, then you know what I'm saying? That's different. Now we got to check But if you, if, if you got the working, the average working hard man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and you see a girl getting 10000 and you get mad at him, girl, <laughs> pick up, pick up, put your boots on and get out of here. Yeah, pay attention to life because that's yeah. not how it really works. This exactly. is all for clicks and likes and views. I agree. Clearly. Mm-hmm. Out of control. Hell so, yeah. So, you know, if I'm going to ask you about no the sense. best... You know, I do, I want to know about the worst. But oh, I, I'll I tell you my best real oh, quick yeah, what's before, your, what's your best? before I get into it, but get, to, get your worst ready. Okay. You feel me? So uh, I feel like the best uh, Valentine's Day gift I ever got was um, somebody helped me. I was I had something that I had put, uh, I had to, uh, how do I explain this? It's like a pawn shop. Mm-hmm. But they're not gonna they're not gonna get rid of it. They're just holding it, and I can right. buy it back. I just needed some of the bread, some crazy mm-hmm. shit, some crazy shit. You know, niggas go through life, and um, they copped it for me straight out, paid the bread off. And that was important to me. That's more that's more important than a, you know, some bullshit, some cards right some there. Kicks. Yeah, because they knew that I needed that. It was a piece of uh, uh, yeah. You know, equipment that I needed to you know record or whatever. Oh, oh, she, that was for Valentine's Day. She took it she out. She copped for it for me. She just paid it off. Cool. That's that's, that's awful. That's a real gift. Like you feel me? Yeah, like, that's no, that's, that's something to, to this day, I still remember that. Yeah, it's so, something you needed. Yeah. So uh, I feel like the sentiments, the sentim- the sentimental gifts are the most are important the ones. ones. Those yeah, are the best gifts. You don't got to be a lot of money. It just happened to be that that was a lot of money. So yeah, my it, worst, but. my worst Valentine's Day, same guy. After we've been together no for a couple way. of years, nah. Valentine's <laughs> Day comes up. I'm like, babe, it's Valentine's Day. What's uh, up? And he's like, go ahead, buy yourself something. I'll send you the money. Oh. So he has the best and the worst? Yes, he's oh, the best man. and the worst. The whole you... cycle of everything. You saw all that. He de- Yo. That's what I'm love. saying. Wait, like, that's love, B. That's, that's love, B. No, and so I wait, went and I wait. bought myself something stupid. I went and I bought myself something stupid. I was like, yeah, I'm glad I got some money right now. <laughs> that's <laughs> what I'm saying. So is that I'm a... about to blow this whole check on this one thing, and he going to send me all of this money back. <laughs> He didn't send you the guac? <laughs> nah, he sent it. Oh, right. He definitely but did. Of course he did. But wouldn't he that be a Like, bad? the gift was cool. The yeah. gift was cool, yeah, but I like the vacation. I like being yeah. sweet with him and, and hugging exactly. each other. Happy Valentine's Day, yeah. baby. Yeah, this wasn't a that thought was out cool. gushy. No, this was like, all right, I'll see you next time. I'll see you tomorrow. Just get, just go buy something. I'll, I'll send you the money. Yeah, this was, I forgot. I'll cash up it to you. Like, oh, shit. Damn, cash app? That's yeah. not cash app is fucked up. What's wrong with that? He got me a flight. He pretty much out of his own thoughts. He got me a yeah. flight to go to see him. Mm-hmm. Oh, he crickets. <laughs> yeah. Boo. Uh, damn, man. Right. That Worst? was. You gotta, you gotta, oh, I, I've got nothing. So I yeah, guess that's, that's the worst. Gotta bit. be the worst. Yeah, when you get when you don't get nothing. Is, nah, this shit worse than nothing. Oh. How can it be worse than nothing? I got this shit worse than nothing. All right. Like canceling plans. Ooh. Or. Not That's being nothing able on to, top of nothing. Or, yeah. not, or not being able to reach yeah, the person yeah, or something like that. Ooh, I feel like people ghost go through, yeah, like, oh, some crazy shit oh, happened you build the on hype. Valentine's Day. You build the hype. And I'll see you No, tomorrow. but getting ghosted on Valentine's Day, you already know it's going to be But if you're getting ghosted yeah. on go- Valentine's Day, you're you not even the, the main joint, right? You're not the main yeah, joint. You're the side piece. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is the 15th. Let's get you tomorrow. Get you back. 
Cut you nah. off. Be all right. Cut you off. Nah. What? It's okay. Nah. Please, I, for Valentine's Day, I, I got you on the 13th at midnight. Mm-hmm. I got you on the 13th at midnight. And I got you on the whole 14th until maybe 15, 16. I'll let you go. <laughs> I say, Especially Yo, this year. You ain't having no side yeah. bitch Valentine's Day. I took yeah. all the days. Because the 14th this year was perfect because the 14th was Friday. So you could have yes. just done the whole weekend and be like, yeah, you're not yeah, going to that's Thursday, exactly what I yeah, did this Thursday, week. You could have done Thursday to Monday. Yeah, because the Valentine's slide day don't hit the same when it's the 22nd. Mm-hmm. Like it hit that's right. That's what I'm saying. Like, go ahead. Go do your Valentine's now. Exactly. But if it's the 26th. 20, exactly. exactly. It's not the same. Next yeah. week is not the same. It's not. Damn, but you got to put in a lot of work that 15th, man. If you got that, if you, if you. If you got the side joint, because that that phone call or that text you got to send out on the 15th, you got to no, have you know, all that prepared. If they're a, a, a correct slide, they already know. A correct side, they matter. would know. Nah, it don't yeah, matter. This is her day. Bro, if she woke up with her feelings. This is her day. Yo, she's not taking shit. That's she, true. She ain't That's taking true. shit. You better Sheesh. come with correct. Because main side joint be cool for a while until she get in her feelings. Mm-hmm. There's a couple moments through the two years. It won't be like all the time, though. There'll be a couple moments like I don't give a fuck this year. You know, this year that's my birthday is the next day, so I don't oh, give a uh, fuck this year. Oh shit! You gonna have to work that out. That's if you have a what? a long standing side. You feel me? That's that's how it would work. <laughs> I'm just saying that was the situation. I heard about things like that. S M H. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So Valentine's Day, we have some questions from you. Okay. You tell me which ones you like, and we. We'll, uh, well after, just th- yeah, throw them out. Yeah, you, throw them out. The ones me. you don't like, you don't even answer. Okay. Uh, I'll say next question. If question I don't like time. Question. Yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Next question. All right, they're not in any good it. order, Excellent. but we can put them in a good order yeah. afterwards. X. Uh, how was it like doing big time music videos? When budgets were fire. Yeah, like the, back the in the days budgets. when the budgets were fire. Um, I can't lie. It was it was a whole, especially for principal girls, because you had, in, back in the days, video video castings were called, you would have extras and then you have principals. Okay. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So yeah. we, there would be a lot of girls on set, but they would, you know, choose the certain girls who were the main girls. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? The yeah, the ma- being the main girl in a music video, it's like you're the artist. You know what I mean? You yeah. have your own, you have your own little space. Mm-hmm. They do a hair and makeup on. You they making everything, making sure everything is good. You staying there all the long hours. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. So it was different. Now they just be like pulling up to the block shooting videos. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Like, now everything is like the Bobby, hood feel, like the, ass. the so regular shot a video, yeah. On my block. the regular degular videos yeah. that we used to. Yeah. Yeah. And when the when yeah. the girls started doing the videos for cheap, like for a thousand dollars. Oh, it fucked up. What were some of the What were some of the budgets? Like, yeah, what were some like, of the was checks it, yeah, you could pull in? I got paid. At a time. Um, I did. Uh, I did a video for Neo. It's called. Um, uh, forever now, I okay. did forever now for Neo, and it was um, they paid me like six bands. Ooh, fire! Yeah. fire. How many days? And that wasn't even How that long. long you there? Yeah. I, no, I got I got sick and everything on that set. Oh, I, and shit. I and and Neo bag? is my still got good the bag, friend. still got the full <laughs> yeah, bag. Neo, Neo yeah, is my bag. good friend. Neo is my good friend. Shout um, out to yeah. God bless Shout him. Shout out to God. Neo. Yeah, yeah. I've never slept with him. You know what I mean? Just to put that out there and he and I were making out the whole entire day like literally my mouth was like Falling swollen did, from all the makeouts we did were he have having. the brimless uh, fitted on he might yeah. have I don't know I don't remember <laughs> he, saw, he saw the brimless <laughs> yeah, that looks crazy he got the Yankee fitted without the brim without no brim how you do that I don't even know where you cop that at. I don't even and know where you cop that. It's back. all about the gray bottom. You took the gray bottom off. That's... How you take the gray? Yeah, I'm that. crying. Chill, chill, no, no, chill. God. Yeah, chill. <laughs> all right, so... Uh... So, yeah, like, um, forever. So it was cool, but what they did was they had us on set for, like, no lie, I was on set for, like, 15 hours, 16 okay. hours. And they, at the last scene, the last scene, and you know, L.A. is cold as fuck at night. Yeah, last scene was a rain scene, so they spraying us with the hose. Oh, no. Oh, no, nah, you sick, definitely. And we got to make out every time, like, I go from one place, and he goes from the other place, and we meet in the middle, and... We make out. <laughs> Trash. Like, oh. You're just like, uh, I was like uh, exactly the whole over? time up there shivering, like, are we almost done? <laughs> and I had a real nice outfit. My makeup is like falling off of my face. I was like, oh shit. That's wild. Yeah, you so it wasn't. Some shit though. Yeah, you, no, being a video, being in, in, being the principal, another video I did, it was Rick Ross and Future. Um, oh, yeah. What was that song? There's so many songs. Rick Ross yeah, and Future. Yeah, Rick okay. Ross and Future. That song. It's we'll um it it's a it, it was a fire video. I was in that video. It was me, Jessica Kylie, she was one of the principal girls, and another girl. Okay. I forget the other girl's name. 
But we did that video, and we were on set. First of all, I was a total lush at the time. So <laughs> I literally came from hosting a party, mm-hmm. drunk, washed up, off the plane at 6 o'clock in the morning uh. to, uh, to, to set. And I'm like, I don't care what y'all doing. I'm going to sleep. You did? So I got to set at like 6, 7 in the morning. I'm laying there. They're doing my makeup while I'm sleeping. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm drunk. So finally we start with shooting. We were we were on set for like 13 hours and I hadn't slept. I was oh. miserable. I was so tired. I didn't even do the last scene. I was like, let them do it. I was like, I'm it's okay. good. Let somebody eat. Yeah, I was like, I'm not I'm like they did another scene and it was a rain scene. And I had just came <laughs> off of the rain scene with Neil. <laughs> I was like, yo, 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 yo. Like chill, if you watch chill. a video, they splashing around in water. I seen water. I was like, oh, oh, oh. No, no, oh. No. You had PTSD. Nah, what the water. is that like, with nah, I'm good. Water. I can't. I'm out of here. Nah, nah, chill, chill. No, I was like, nah, I'm going to go to the back room. I'm going to go take a nap. I'm Sheesh. back. Y'all, y'all let me know. All right? Let me know if you need me. And they're like, okay. Okay. Stop. Okay. Nah, I'm, I'm out of like, here. All right. So now, like, what would the call be to get a video done with you now? I won't. I'm, I'll do a video for, Um, I'll only do a video for, like, I'll do a video for Ye. I'll do a video for Drake. I'll do a video for that Jay-Z. That stature. That okay. stature yeah. of artists. I feel that. Like, I, or, you know, something like that. I, I mean, not to not to say that I'm too big to do a video with anybody I mean, else. But you are, it's just the no, it's not that because I already did that, and I'm I got advice from um from somebody who's very important to me and has been important to me in my career, and he says, Steph, you can't start, you can't go from first class to coach. You got to stay in first class. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So for me to like, I would do a, I would do a video with somebody up and coming. I have so many people I grew up with. Yeah. You know, I would, but I'm gonna charge you. Like yeah, I ain't doing yeah, that yeah. for the love. No, no, yeah, no. You can't. You know what I'm saying? I'm it's exactly. Business. Yeah. I'm not doing that be for the love. For both parties. And you know what? Drake and Ye and Jay, they gonna pay me. They gonna give yeah. me. A, they gonna give me yeah. a bigger check than what I even want. You mm-hmm. know what yeah. I'm saying? Over and above. So yeah, exactly. If and they if, if it question. came to that that they wanted me in the video, you know, it would be for a reason that they want me in the video. Right, you know what right, I mean? Right, right, right. Yeah. You're just not. They're just not looking for a face. They're looking for Stephanie. Yeah, for exactly. They want Stephanie there. Exactly. So they they're gonna give me the check. They're gonna give me whatever it is that. Exactly. The person that even a question, to is asking for, it. yeah, but you know the niggas in the hood. Excuse mm. me, my good man's in the hood. <laughs> <laughs> my they, neighbor, my, my beloved in the hood. <laughs> my good neighbor in the hood. <laughs> they they like I tell them I want six bands for a video, and they like, like fainting like oh my oh, six you bands. Think I, shot this a, I got a search. Like, I got yeah. a zipper yeah. for you. Exactly. <laughs> They like you exactly like I got some weed, I got some backwards. You don't want to come do the video? Because like no, I have weed and I have backwards. <laughs> like bro, I, I got money. that too. I, got, I just need the money. I, I just break need my money. Own. I got you. I'll bring your weed. Yeah. Y'all give me the money. I'll don't give you my weed. I'll pull up with my own bud. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> That's not that necessary. Comes with, that comes with the six thousand. Yeah. I have my own. <laughs> it comes with me not asking to light up. Exactly. <laughs> Whoa. Like, bro. So that's why I don't even I don't even touch the subject. When somebody asks me to, for a price, I just be like, nah, I don't do it because I don't want to offend you. I don't want I don't want to exactly. offend you. You know, throwing yeah. a, pr- a price at you. You don't want nobody getting on Instagram after yo fuck the pretty girls and y'all. Chef me for just, seven bands, man. Stephanie Santi. Who the fuck is I told them. I told them I had five. Uh, five, fifty dollars and five L's, and five yo. L's? Like all I needed I her for her, was twenty I minutes. Her yeah, from, I, I needed her for her twenty minutes. Grand Concourse, like <laughs> I see her all the time. I see her all the time. I see her all the time. I see. I see. I'll be by her grandmother's building. Like, come on. Yeah, that's I'm what sure I'm they, saying. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm out sure. Of I just be. I just like my, my guys that I grew up with. Yeah, like yeah. these are my guys I grew up with, and I'll be. They'll be like, oh, I'm shooting a video. Come through. I'll be like, okay. I can drive by and, and head nod. Like, I'd be like, uh, I don't know about that, friend. What's nah. the, what's the, what's your, uh, your I'm favorite sorry. video? My favorite video that I did is Lituation. Yeah. Mm, Fabulous yeah, video. Yeah. Because I got to hold the strap. Oh, yeah, with the, yeah. yeah. I got to hold the strap. With the fur on and all yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, and and the there was a bitch in the, in the trunk. And I was like, shut the fuck up. Hell, you got to yeah, yeah, yeah. The acting chops. I was yeah. like, yes. I was like, can I hit her with the gun? They're like, no, Steph, you can't. Yeah, you want to And act? she's like, Steph, I know her. She's like my friend. Yeah. Why Ow. you want a pistol with me? <laughs> like, I'm like so excited yeah. to have to be able to hold the gun. Like, so I'm, that was I'm my method favorite. acting. I'm method you know, acting. Yeah. yeah, and I had a Definitely. fur on. And yeah, a the fur was. Yeah. So you like yeah. acting? Would you want to act? Yeah, I, I would. If I had a nice opportunity, I would do it. But you know, um, I've done, I've done, I've um, read for certain things. I think have I? 
No, I haven't. No? That's yeah, a lie. Like I read. Is that good bud? I read one time. I read one time for something. I just feel like I've. I think I feel like I've gone on auditions and castings, and I don't get a call back. Like that yeah. has happened to me yeah. before, and it's very discouraging. Mm, that's yeah. what I hear. I, I hear. Yeah, so I, I don't hear like doing castings. Yeah. Nah, but if, you if they don't do it, they don't say, yo, I want you. You shouldn't be like that. You shouldn't be like that. That's trash to be like that. But it's just it really hurts my soul when I go for something and they don't want me, man. I'd be like, damn. The no call. <laughs> they don't even call back. And you don't want to be mad at back. them because it's a life. It's yeah. part of life. You know what I mean? They don't even they call to say thank you. No. Nothing. Yeah, like, tell nothing. me no. Don't hear nothing back. Just nothing. Dead. Just Leave dead. Me out nothing. Here cold. I'm not even a person. Throw them away. Damn. What garbage. Nah, yeah. So, Didn't happen. Yeah, that's what I, I I feel like that's what happened with me. That's why I never got into the acting thing. I feel nah, like you I gotta went keep on trying. an audition Fuck or two. And yeah. didn't get a call back, and I didn't. I wasn't feeling it, and I feel like um, that happened even before I became a model. Because yeah. acting was always first, the comedy shit and acting. Yeah, I feel like acting would be a good lane for you. I think you could act probably. I think I could do some real good comedy shit, because okay. I think I'm hilarious. I think everyone thinks they're hilarious. That, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. I feel yeah. like everyone thinks they're hilarious. Like the current, the guy that I'm dating now, like he thinks he's so funny. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yo, I swear. He be making videos and like he thinks he's so fucking oh, okay. funny. And I look yeah, at him and I'm like, funny, you think you so funny, fucking funny. funny. Like you're not that funny, my good you man. You funny, hey. bro. <laughs> you gotta yo, he be thinking he's funny, yo. He be yeah, making nah, videos nah, and all that. Nah, like he always got out. some dumb ass joke. I'm like, no, that's nah. not funny. Like how do you find that funny? Is it funny though? It's really not funny? Or you just, you just, don't want to give it up, or you think you better? Nah, I think I'm definitely funnier so than that. Okay. Now you gotta outdo yeah. them. Then now you gotta do your own joints. I do. Okay. <laughs> nah, that shit happens everywhere. Nah, but I feel like fucking with me makes him feel like he's a funny clown like oh, okay. I am. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know off. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it rubbed off. off. Yeah. 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 Don't try to pretend because like this always, was your shit. I'm always I'm mad goofy about you. shit. Yeah. yeah. You just like, started acting goofy. I've been, exactly I've been like goofy. Just, <laughs> I'm the original <laughs> goof. Facts. Goof shoot, nigga. I've been goofy. What? I'm the OG G. I'm the OG G. <laughs> Original gangster ghoul. <laughs> <laughs> nah, serious. Nah, but it's always like that. There's always someone who thinks they're funnier in the relationship. No, but and I really feel like being with him made me realize that everybody thinks they're funny and they're really yeah, not. So really I'm like, it made me question myself. <laughs> like, am I? Am I not really funny? I must be a big fucking cornball because this is not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I don't need nobody else to laugh at my jokes in order for me to die. Me too, I'd be I'd dying. Be dying. At my own shit. People yeah. be like, uh, that, that wasn't funny, funny William. Yeah. I was like, I, I, y'all can front I'm if y'all want. Y'all can front. Y'all can front. Same, same. But this same. is funny. It's just the way same. it is. Nah, I gotta it's just read the, the way room. it is. Total Come on, I gotta nah. read the room. Nah, same. I don't care. <laughs> I think I'm fucking hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely the care. funny one in my relationship. I could watch my I could watch my old shit and laugh Sag- all day. Steph, yeah. you Sagittarius? Yeah, I'm a Sagittarius. I'm a Sagittarius too. Yeah, we're hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. We're the funniest in the zodiac. Mm. I mean, I'm a pi- <laughs> Pisces season. Nah. Pisces season approaches. Oh. Oh boy. The only nah. sign with all the signs nah, yeah, you intertwined. See that? <laughs> my best the oldest is sign. Pisces. You already <laughs> know what it is. <laughs> nothing we better than this nothing better than a score. Pisces. Yeah, wow. You already know what we do. Scorpios, you guys are untrustable. Ooh. Is that a word? Yeah. Oh, That's not. Right? I just made that yeah. up. Untrustable? <laughs> I, did I just make that up? I did. I did make Untru- that up. Tr- untrustworthy. <laughs> nah. Un- untrustworthy. Um, not yeah. trustworthy. Not trustworthy. Oh, not trustworthy. It, not it took us a little, it took us three <laughs> yeah. times to get a, 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 yeah. a, a hit for the grammar. Yep. <laughs> it took us three times to get a grammar, but we got it. But yeah, I just feel like Scorpios. My my relationships with Scorpios, mm. they last long. Ooh, like we're in the game. But it's just cause y'all be dragging it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. Like like this, this relationship should have been done. Like we should have been stopped being friends. Like why are we dragging this? Like what the fuck? Yeah, I don't even think <laughs> I, I, c- I couldn't let that That's rock. How- That's the only way that rocks is if they got like some super fire. Mm-hmm. Then they can be like a toxic person, but it's like fuck. All right, one more time. All right, let's just let's let's give it one more one try. More time. One more try. Yeah, what? then you, you kind of fall in love the with relationship. the toxic. That's what it yeah. is. Uh, it's not, I don't like the toxic. It's the other part is so good. The good is so good. The that good, you good just is so good. Deal with the trash. But it's not enough. Usually the, toxic, it usually the toxic is way more than the good. Of course. The, yeah, the timing, but the good is so intense that, it, you know, is, is it worth it for a time? I was talking about this on live earlier that, um, you know, people always see me smiling and happy and shit. And 
it, it would look like I, I'm not having any issues, but of course mm-hmm. I have. Everybody goes through their shit. Yeah, I'm just course. not spreading that energy around. Yeah. Right. But I bring this up because you know that's where that's where my hurt is in my love life because you know you get this expectation of for, of people and they don't match up to it. Mm-hmm. So it you know it kind of throws you off and breaks your heart. Yeah. So what I was saying is, damn, I lost my point. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we do it. That's how we do it. <laughs> no, but it's about the toxic. It's I'm the, like, it's oh wait, where, where was I going with this? You said you were talking about in your life. In you your said life you morning. said you said you felt oh, you, in your relationship that like you felt where the negative toxic place was. Oh, oh, that's what I said. Oh, I remember now. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank yeah. you. See, that's what friends are for. But so the thing is, like. I stay happy with a person. I'm able to forgive a person, you know, and be happy with them and stay in love with them because I don't really focus on the toxic shit because the good shit it's makes me so happy. Good. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I see what I'm saying? But it, yeah. it only lasts for a while, though, because that toxic... And that's what I said. Toxic, I said. I said the fucked up shit goes and the just like the good shit goes. Like, everything moves forward, yeah. you know? Like, you can't stay in that good moment forever and you're not going to stay in a bad moment forever, too. Yeah. So, like, I, I try to stay at focus on the good part of the person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but sometimes like we overlook the shit that's so bad. Yeah, that it's not it's, a, it's not yeah. the greatest way to be. You just gotta try to get to a ratio where it's way more good than bad. Yeah, yeah. If you can only find that person, it's good tough. luck. It's tough. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> this is, this because is the it's game. really a, a, a like eighty twenty type of fucking thing with yeah, people now. And they give you twenty percent and they keep eighty for themselves. Jeez, that's wow. not a good. That's the eighty twenty rule. Me, I give I give like ninety percent and then the ten percent I'm out making money. Like that's that's my other ten percent. I'm going to work. That sounds like a good percentage. And then yeah. the ninety percent, like everything else is. I'm all like, you run my life. Would tell me what to do. But that's right. horrible. But that's how you learn. But that's that's good. how you get your heart broken. Yeah, but how, what would life be without like, getting yeah, your life broken? Yeah. Your heart broken. You're that's get true, your heart right? Broken, yeah, you gotta do it. But you still gotta give a ninety percent. Watching out for yourself, being cognizant of who you are and what you need to protect. <laughs> Right. You know what I mean? Like, you give the 90%, like, yeah, all love, all trust, until you do the, the stupid shit. You don't overlook. Right, then it goes from 90 to 85, yeah. and then 80. Yeah, but then some and people like, just be like, up, when you go blind on 10%. it, yeah, when you go blind on it, like, all right, I don't see that, because yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck it, that's the shit that, yeah. You got to have the boundaries, right? People go blind quick. The bl- the boundaries is what does the it. The boundaries and the blinders. Yeah, so, all right, so let me just get to the questions and run them out. <laughs> get them. We got stuck on some shit. Uh, nah, good, good talk. Good talk. Fact. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. There's something in there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's something in there. Yeah. There's a couple things. So, how, yeah, how did you, how did you <coughs> get on? Like, um, who's the, like, who's the person I, you I met? got this. I got this. Um, <laughs> I got on. I know the story. I remember. <laughs> so, what had happened was, I took, I decided, all right, I was pregnant. Let's go all the way back to when I was pregnant. My son's father, he had a crush on Vita Guerra. Do you guys know who oh, that yeah. is? Yeah, of course. He had a, who do, I, who I got a crush That's on my era. Yeah. Right. Yep. He put me on to her, but yeah. I was like, you know, as a girl, you don't want your man looking at another guy, a girl. <laughs> no so I was what. like, oh no, I'm prettier shit. than her. Oh I'm, shit. When I give when I give birth, watch mm-hmm. what I do. Mm-hmm. Oh, watch watch shit. me be in these pictures, right? right. So that's what I did. I gave birth to my son. I waited like a year for my body to get back to normal. And I went and I did a photo shoot. So I did some photo shoots. I, I did some photo shoots. I ended up doing a photo shoot with the Jets jersey. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I you see that up, picture? We're going to put that up there. Yeah. <laughs> I did a photo shoot with the Jets jersey and yeah. Fuck Master Flex. He had just started doing the Inflex We Trust blog. Okay. He does his blog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he... I was one of the first. I like. Um, I was one of the first posts to go up on there. Like he had right. just started it, so it went viral. The mm-hmm. picture went viral. It was everywhere. Yep. From there, so that's what happened. That's where my following went up from. Fuck Master Flex, and then Bow Wow retweeted something I said, and that gave me ten thousand followers. <laughs> viral. Fire. Yeah. No, and viral then, before viral. Yeah, and then Trey Songz wrote oh, me something over. on uh, Twitter. And, that gave me like another 20,000 followers. 
So what's the official so count? So right it just now? went, went, went from yeah. there. But you are now. What's the official count? Right Instagram. Now? And then I found my manager found me on Twitter from all of oh, that sure. noise. So my manager found me on Twitter and she put me in videos mm-hmm. and Bonita Applebaum. Oh, and uh, yeah. Then you know that was fire. Yeah. That Bonita that's, Applebaum that's, was fire. That yeah. was everything. That was it. Yeah. That's how I got on. That's a fire story. I, it's 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 just it's just crazy how yeah. life is. Yeah. I just think right I, I just yeah exactly and the thing I was talking about this on my live too damn I was talking mad shit on my live today whoa yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not allowed to think about it <coughs> but um, I've, I I was talking about this on live I think it happened again what were we talking about we were talking about live <laughs> yeah. you, you, oh you're talking about followers <laughs> followers <laughs> followers blood yeah. exchange yeah. blood exchange yeah. Woo, you were, talk, yeah. you, you were yeah. talking about your followers and how you got on with your followers. Wait, wait. The, oh, oh, that's what I was saying on Instagram. Like, yeah. I feel like it's a timing thing for you to, you know, to go to go up. It's yeah. a timing thing. You got to catch it. You got to mm-hmm. catch the wave at the right time. Like, if you hesitate, like, I hesitated on Twitter. That's why my Twitter following, I only have, like, 80,000 or something. It might be 60,000 mm-hmm. yeah. on Twitter. Mm-hmm. As like other girls that came out with me, like Yara Sanchez and Aisha Diaz, you go on their Twitters and they have a hundred thousand, yeah. two hundred thousand followers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They have mad followers. Like I didn't, cause I hesitated. I was on MySpace before <laughs> Twitter. This is yeah. true. Yeah. No, no, I, I think we were all on MySpace. Wow. I think yeah, we were all on MySpace. I was on MySpace. Yeah. So when Twitter came out, it was a different. Put it kind in of your format. HTML code to get your your background, yeah, pop, you get your background man. right. Like, top like, top eight. To, Who's, yeah, what's your top eight? To, uh, yeah, I was used to sharing pictures, and that's it. I was just used to the MySpace format, sharing pictures. You know, and comments like showing love. Just show me some love. Shit like that, yeah. For those for glittery, the, the glittery joints with the girls, like those yeah. little, the little cartoon yeah. joints with the day. glitter, like, uh. Yo, my yeah. space was fire. You know, the background drops, the backdrops. Yeah. You know, remember, you know what I'm yeah, talking about. Yeah. Yes. So when Twitter came out, it was just a writing format, plain, just all, all you're doing is like, hey, this is what I'm doing. Hey, I'm, I'm over thinking. here. Yeah. Hey, this is what we're, this yeah. is what's going on. Oh, this is how I feel. You know yeah. what I mean? So I was like, I was like, no, nah, that's some bullshit. I don't want to be on that. <laughs> I'm good on that. Right. So I hesitated on Twitter, but when Instagram came out, I was me. We brought me and Yaris. Like I, I seen it from Yaris. This is what I, how I discovered Instagram. Yaris had a picture like with. Remember when Instagram first came out? It had like those the, frames. Yeah, the borders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. remember borders, the frames? Yeah. 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 So Yaris posted a picture with the frame, and she wrote in the caption, "I love Instagram." And this was nobody was on it. Like she mm-hmm. had her shit to private, like so mm-hmm. nobody could follow right. her. You know what I mean? That's how right. low key it was. You know what I mean? So when I seen the when I found the app, I was like, oh, everybody follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. And nobody was on it. So people were like getting on it from there. Yeah. It was the very Both beginning. Them, yeah. So I've always had a big following on Instagram because I was one of the first people on it. Hey, you know nice. what I mean? Hey, hey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Cheated. I was one of the first, like at least a girl like me. I was one of the first of the girls like yeah. me. You know what I mean? I know what you're saying. So that's why, like, Instagram, that's what I'm saying. It's all about a timing thing. You got to jump. Like, if you see a new platform and it's clicking, mm-hmm. jump on that. Like, jump on it as soon as you can and get your followers up before everybody floods it. And yeah. it becomes... Uh, it becomes Harder not, shit yeah, to, like, get, to grab followers. Yeah. Yeah. Like all these, uh, with these news joints, or like I think TikTok is the one right yeah. now. TikTok, yeah, the little TikTok kids getting one. paid. Wow. Another one that I, another one that I slacked on that I hesitated on is Snapchat, and people were getting checks off of Snapchat, and yeah. I missed those people checks. Are still getting, I yeah. didn't get checks off of Snapchat. Yeah, okay. I still don't have. I still get like when I post a snap, I get like twenty thousand views mm-hmm. on my Snapchat. That's nothing compared to what other girls are get, right, getting. Yeah, people who yeah. are on on Snapchat. other people. Yeah, who are on on Snapchat, like um, a, a couple people I know, they're getting like a hundred thousand views every time. And they post a snap, you know what I mean? Like I get like, Fuck. if I post and if they see in the little thing that I have just a bra on or mm-hmm. something, yeah. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? They the, see I might be turned around. Like, oh, what's yeah. that? You know, in a thumbnail, huh? <laughs> you know they see something cute in the thumbnail. The, I, I'll, I'll get like twenty five thousand. You know what I'm saying? But Sheesh. if I post like a plate, like if I post food. my food. It's seven thousand, nine thousand. <laughs> the drop off. But I see you. Uh, <laughs> that's crazy. That's nine thousand. 
I see you on, uh, what's it called, though? What? Um, OnlyFans. I saw you Only got an Only OnlyFans page Yeah, but now. OnlyFans is for, like, the real people who've been following me, like, since these times. Like, people are going to hear this. Those people, the same mm-hmm. people who are on my OnlyFans, they're going to listen to this podcast. Right. Because they pay attention to everything I do. Okay. And they support everything I do. So they're, they're going to come to and listen. Shout, shout out to them. Shout, shout out to your followers. Your followers. Yeah. 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 What are they yeah. Where do they what go? Are they? Damn, I never gave them a name. They don't need a name because they're all so manly and, you know, they don't want cute names like okay. that because they're men. All right. Okay. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah I fuck out of approach. Right, right. They're men. Yeah. Okay. They're, they're a man. We'll figure yeah. something out. <laughs> we'll figure something out. We'll get a name we'll for the it. Santiago. <laughs> but anyway, excuse me. But you know, so like You know what's the Santiago? Only fans like I I know that those are the, that's the guys that have been watching me since MySpace. They see me do all of that. They see me they was on Twitter. They they I got a I got a whole f- crew of Men that been we love you, Stephanie. So they are only anything fans. for Stephanie. Yeah. We fans. love you, Stephanie. I feel like I feel like OnlyFans is is something that I should have been doing for a long time because on the Instagram, in yeah, it, I'm getting paid for showing what I got and not even showing too much. Yeah. You know what and I mean? Dave, it's just your following. My my uh, what, what's on my OnlyFans is the shit that I used to post on Instagram when I first started on Instagram. To be honest, like I can't count how many times I posted up a fucking Instagram on with a fucking thong on for likes. Yeah, yeah, and followers. And you got them though. Right. You, <laughs> you got them. Definitely though. got them. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I got them. Have y'all ever done that? Posted it on Instagram in a, a thong, thong for likes. Nah, not yet. I mean, you should try I, it. It works. I, I don't know if it'll work for me. I don't know. You know, everybody. <laughs> everybody's got different talents. That's not. I don't know. I don't think the I thong is doing it for me. It works. No, but you works. know, um, but that's but with OnlyFans, it's like the people who want to see that. If you want to see that, it's not. I'm not charging a lot. I'm not charging them twenty five dollars. I'm not charging thirty dollars. You know, you know you... I'm charging twelve ninety nine. That's the price of go. like iTunes. There or, you go. You know oh, Netflix. You know what fire. I'm saying? It's a subscription price. That's something normal. Yeah. Like you're not gonna be mad giving twelve ninety nine to your favorite girl every month. You feel me? No, you know what I'm not saying. Nah, no, ain't nobody mad. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So and and you get in what you want to see. And the exactly. thing is with Instagram, like I have I have like Dame's little daughter Tallulah following me on so Instagram. I, feel, I, feel, yeah. I got other young girls following me yeah, and other people who are following me that don't want to see that. They they ain't yeah. trying to see ass cheeks. They're not trying to see that. Exactly. You know so. what I'm saying? They they want to see it's Instagram. It's a Facebook thing. Like it's, right. you yeah. know what I if mean? If you want to see that kind of stuff, you go but, to where you need to go to the exclusive. Yeah, exactly. Go that's my exclusive. That's only fans is it's it's genius. I should have been doing that. Now hypothetically, if a man wanted to see your feet on your OnlyFans. They could. They they would be there. I yes. think I'm gonna I'm make only fans for my feet. Cause yo, that foot fetch. I'm it's a thing. shout out to them. Like nah, I, it's a no thing. disrespect. It's a heavy thing. No, that is a whole market. I heard about it. I, I know heard. girls who making bread off of their feet. Mm. I heard yeah. about it. They get a pedicure yeah. and the check comes in. And it I comes heard in. Some people Definitely. like it. No, I was that is yeah. I was, I was following one that did that. No, I'm sure. She did it for a couple of weeks. Do you think you have nice nice feet? Do you think? Uh, no. Okay. Fine. My feet are normal. They're not ugly and they're not cute. Like, first of all, I already have to take a L on my feet because they big. I got big feet. And well, that's okay. It is then. what that's it is. Okay. I'm that's short okay. and I got big feet. That's a big foot is a good thing. It's a, it's a nice big foot. That's yeah. <laughs> now, hypothetically, if the man likes feet. Right? He said no, now, no, hypothetically, no. Hypothetically, if the man likes feet, right? Yes. But, um, you know, like with it painted, like you. Right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, it's, it's good. It, like, if you go look at my pictures, my feet look beautiful. Yeah, okay. Oh. If you go look at like pictures, my feet are gorgeous in pictures. Because the they're, men... they're photogenic. Like, if you, the models okay. from back back in the days, they were all like six feet tall, mm-hmm. you know, 11, size 11 shoes. You know what I'm saying? Like, big feet, long legs, long everything. You know because I mean? that skinny and long comes out nice in a picture. It, right. it just is what it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like when you're photographing shoes, the small size looks nice. So that you would want the models to have a little foot. But if it's just a bare foot, like, go look at the Sports Illustrated, the skinny girls in there. They all got some long yep. ass looking feet. Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Because that was what people wanted to see at that time, you know, or since forever. Yeah. Um, I don't know. That didn't make sense. No. What I just said. It, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. What are we? You know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what they used to like. What? No. So, oh, oh, that's what I. What? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, what? What is, what is happening? What is so anyway, but anyway, my feet. I feel like my feet. When they're regular, mm-hmm. they. I have to take that L that they big, but they not. Like nah. I don't got corns, and my nails are pretty. 
You know what I mean? I got toes, nails. Yeah, I got real. nails on all of my toes. You know, Ooh, you know how some nah, girls be yeah. missing a pinky nail? Ooh, Don't nah. even have Tight little shoes. Oh, you know how some girls you know? be having thick ass toenails or they be having black shit on mm. their toes? Yeah, you know? yeah. Black toes, like you know what I'm saying? All of mine's are very Black clean toe. and nice. And they're, all, and they're all yours. Yeah, and they're all mine. None yes, of them so are fake. You know. All that <laughs> little pinky at the bottom, you can tell, the little tight shoes. You'd be like, ooh. That yeah, but I'm struggling. Shoes, right? You don't be going crazy with the heels or nothing. So you feel Oh, uh, no. Actually, I, I have so many pairs of shoes, but I always go to my sneakers. Mm. I'm definitely at a point in my life that I could show up anywhere in sneakers. So, Comfy. you have a favorite pair of sneakers? Right now, my Dior sneakers are my favorite. Uh, but that's right now. You know, you switch your that favorite changes. sneakers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dior, yeah. Dior. Dior. Yeah. <laughs> that's just it. Yo, Yo, I know. I'm such a hype beast. Yo. Yo, you gonna, you gonna try, hey, you're gonna try to get those ones? If shit is fly. You're gonna if try shit, to get those ones? Uh, <laughs> Shit is fly. What can you do? Yo, Dior please, one? I haven't yeah. stopped shopping in Dior. All my OnlyFans money, I've been spending it on Dior. <laughs> <laughs> it. Every the dollar. The Dior, the Dior, <laughs> Dior, Dior. ones are coming out soon. Oh, really? I'll yeah. be buying those. They're, oh. like, they're going to be like two racks, but they're going to be hard to get. Oh, I'm going to get them. $2,000, no problem. Yeah, uh, damn. Done. Got damn. this. I'm getting this OnlyFans. You yeah, feel me? Wow. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> I'm about to sign up. <laughs> no, it's so funny. Every I time I talk speak. to anybody, anytime I talk to anybody about it, they're like, damn, I should make one too. Yeah, man. Right? Like, yeah, go ahead. See yeah. if you make the money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh the, my God. It, it don't work the same for everybody. The, nah, that's like, yeah, okay. Okay, go ahead. Week after <laughs> week, uh, zero. Like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn. I damn. Can't. Nothing. Damn. <laughs> I've seen, I seen uh, screenshots of girls making like $40,000 in a month off OnlyFans. Hmm. All right, here a question. I'm not going to talk about the amounts of money that I make on OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah. What? Yeah. No, 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 we're good. We're good. I don't want to talk healthy. about it. Yeah. No, why would it's it... cool. It's a good amount. Yeah, I'm very grateful. Thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah we're yeah. good. Of course. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, They pay out monthly? But these, um, no, you could do a payout whenever, whenever you want. You want. Just, yeah. Uh, this is like, that's, like the, uh, that's like the online betting. Oh, man. That's, that's sweet money. Cash out. Yeah, yeah now they I, I cash you that. out. You I know? support that. That's like safe, yeah, hustle, that's safe hustle. Yeah. That's no, that's fine. what I'm saying. That's consent boys. That's what I, I'm saying. I, I, like I girls, endorse that. Girls will like, pay a photographer. Girls will pay a photographer yeah. to take a picture of them naked, busting it open, busting their shit open, yeah, of course. to post Bust it, it on Instagram for likes and yeah, followers. That's out of control. Yo, you, but I was, what? You're, it's you out of control, but I appreciate it. To bust your shit open for free. Bust I appreciate what about, it. What about the, what, that don't what, make no sense. What about, what I you, appreciate it, What do you see the girls that be taking the most random trash, naked, like semi-naked pictures, like on the tub, in the tub, on the all roof, in the shit. dirty water. Oh, my just God. Like, no, oh, and they oh, do all yeah. that work. All this they doing artistic all that work. Yeah, all this artistic work. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. That's so Yo, much shorty, work. you're laying on the, the floor in a dirty-ass apartment. For 26 likes. So then they take it. So then you wait. You take it down and you got to wait. Got to wait. <laughs> no, like for me, I don't understand how a girl's post, fo- post videos of their ass and be okay with it not getting like... 100,000, 500,000 views. Right, like, right, you right. posting up your shit for 15,000 views, nobody's checking for your shit, bro. You got a th- you got 800 yeah. likes and your ass out. Go to, s- just hang it up. Oh. Hang it up. Get it. Hang it up. I appreciate like, it. You can do, listen to your life. <laughs> don't hang it up. Don't listen to this, man. Yeah, yeah. Don't hang it up. Wait, don't, don't listen to Stephanie and Santiago. Santiago. tell you not to chill, shake chill. your ass. <laughs> shake your ass, girl. Uh. Shake what your I'm mama gave you. No, nah, that's what I'm saying. It'd be I'm disrespectful not, not to shake I said this earlier ass. on my live, too. Wow. I said this earlier on my live. <laughs> Stephanie Santiago live and then Blunt Exchange. Make sure you watch. Make, Make sure, sure you watch. watch. Hell yeah. No, I said this on my live, too, earlier. Um, I'm not trying to change people's mind of what they like to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to influence your life, you know, to do the things that I do. But, I mean... I do live a nice life, so you can give if, advice. Of if course, I'm in, exactly. if you're influenced by me, it's not that yeah. bad of an idea. Yeah. You know what I'm Just saying? Just follow exactly. these. Follow what I'm saying here. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but I'm saying you know, I, I do. I make nice moves. But sometimes if my you, plays are all right. My plays are pretty good. No, they definitely work out. My legs hit. My plays work out. They're no, okay. But ladies, but ladies, my percentage is good. Ladies, <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you feel like you need to shake your ass, shake your ass. <laughs> Go for it. It's but you. Do it on OnlyFans. Make these guys pay up. Give you a couple dollars. Yeah, if that's what Facts. you want to do. We go to but the strip club, like right? shaking ass mm-hmm. is just a thing that's natural. And that's another and thing. The, the same girls that are... Do it for us. 
the same girls that are Good for you. paying the photographer to post up for with their pussy out. Yeah. Um, they're going to, and bending the over at things, the though. bar. They're bending over at the bar for one dollar bills for eight hours. Maybe she just wants yeah. to show and, her and don't want to open up only fans like. I Baby, wa- you ain't even gotta go to the bar. I just want nobody. You don't even out. gotta fake it with nobody. You don't gotta let nobody touch you. You don't gotta be at fake gay. You don't have to be fake gay. You could just be at home. I just want yeah, your money. Crib. I just want to be out. I'd be making way more money. Making Steph, way more money. Can you understand the world? Then you're where, making in the strip club. Can you understand the world where a woman might say, "Listen, Steph." I just want to be out here with the people feeling the vibe. No, that's what I'm saying. Having my pussy out and just getting my pussy touched occasionally. (laughs) Not just Grace. Not just Grace. Grace and maybe slightly rubbed. And I just want to, and I'm just doing it for the love and the sport. Can you see a world where a woman might like to do that? Yeah, sure. Can you respect that? I respect it all the way. If you feel like you need to have your pussy out, you don't care about the money. You don't get... And the money. Money. What's money? The root What's of money? evil. What's money? It's not that important. The root of right? evil. Yeah. That's no, money. I respect it too. I respect that. I respect, if you need to shake I respect that. I respect that part. <laughs> that ain't it. If that's how, that's what I'm saying. If you you know, I want everybody to live their life. I'm not I'm I don't like I don't wanna be um I don't wanna be your idol. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah. I want you to be your own mm-hmm. idol. Do your thing. I, I remember, look, I, I didn't look up to any celebrities when I was a kid growing up. I didn't look up to, I, I mean, looked up to, celebrities you know, that you like, you I like my with. celebrities. Like, I yeah. like Madonna and I like shit growing up. Yeah. yeah. But, um, and I like Beyonce mm-hmm. when I was a kid. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Of course. <laughs> of course. Respect. Everybody, everybody likes Beyonce. Everybody likes Destiny's Beyonce. Child was fabulous. And, and I love so, Destiny's so, Child. Hell yeah. But I didn't I had look the up, up to Beyonce. I looked up to like the, I didn't look up to Beyonce growing up. I looked up to like the drug dealers. Like they They were the fucking ones. They were always having fun. They always had the money in the pockets. They had big knots in their pockets and they were wearing fur coats and they was driving some fly cars. Like I wanted to be like the drug dealers growing up. Right, they right downstairs. I didn't want to be like my mom. I didn't want to be like my dad. I just wanted to be a drug dealer. I want to ask you a question, Stephanie. I swear, that's the truth. I didn't know what I was going to do with my life. (laughs) <laughs> just get this money somehow. I just I wanted to have big knots and fur coats. That's it. And who wouldn't want that? That's yeah. a, that sounds like a and good. And you got life. it. In the video I did get with the it. Gun out. You got it though. Thank you, rap music. <laughs> so Steph, thanks hip hop. I love you, <laughs> Steph. <laughs> if you were single, right? What? How would it be? Like, how would a regular dude be able to bag you? Um. Okay, this is funny, and I'm gonna be really honest about this. Get him. I, I, do we have to define regular dude? And do we have, do we have to f- define bag? Was bag I feel not like, the right way I to feel say it? like um, you're a, a, a person who's not in entertainment. Yes, not in the industry. It, not, you're not, not regular. Not, because not, because not, I feel yeah, like it's disrespectful yeah. to call men regular. Civilian. I feel like, you know, just a guy who's not in the industry. Yeah. Right. A guy who has a normal an life. Every day. Right, right, right. Or right. Okay, a regular Joe. Can the, he's in the streets. Can you know what I mean? Can an everyday guy. Yeah, or a street guy. That's not, I don't think a street guy is regular. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna disrespect my street, yeah, street. My street guys okay. and call them regular. Okay. You know, sometimes I, my street guys be having more money than the rappers, and they uh, be rocking better jewelry, and they be driving nicer uh, cars. Yep. But they got an apartment in the projects. What you supposed to do? I mean, hey. <laughs> well, you, you gotta expenses. take the good with There's the bad. It's a give and take. It's yeah, a give and take. It's a balance. The yin and yang. That's life. You gotta take the good with the bad. Yeah. But, here, I have a history. That's you know, I have a history. I, you know, I date, I, I dated my athletes in my lifetime, and mm-hmm. when I get my heart broken by an athlete, I got a history to go and pick up something in the hood. Yo, all my, all my uh, home, home girls that like, you so know, that, yeah, that been with industry or athletes mm-hmm. or whatever, they say the athletes are the best every time. What do you mean athletes like, are the like best? The the gifts. The the experience is the best with them in terms of um, where you I, are, the places you get to go, the places hmm. you stay, the money that's spent on you. I, you know, I've, I dated an athlete for a while, and you know, God bless him. You know, we we have his our love story is very significant to my life, but. I, I can't say that dating an athletes is the best. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. no. The, like especially me that I have my own money. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I don't care about your money. I don't give a fuck about how rich you are or how cute you are or how great you eat or whatever. I don't care. You know what I mean? You you ain't gonna be out here embarrassing me. It's, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's what athletes do. They embarrass their bitch. All of them. At one point or another, when you're uh, nine out of ten times, there is that one average person who that one back there who has a good guy. Because I've seen it, I've seen it in in the NBA and I've seen it in the NFL. Guys who are 
wife, they are all about their wife and their kids, and you know, they stick to their family. But the other nine, they they wow. gonna embarrass you at one point or another. It is what it is. They doing crazy shit. Like <laughs> because they they have athletes have a God complex. You know what I'm saying? Ah, you know, if they're in another state, they need and to And I got an ego too. So it's like to, there's things that need to happen for them to stay at, you know, top physical form. Mm -hmm. So it's understandable because you know something. You what do you mean? Be, you there's things that need to happen to, for them to um, stay at top four. What do you mean by that? What I mean, things? Because they're men. What right? things? What things? Various things. Uh, you know, there's gonna be emotional support. Uh, you know, like physical. Support. But they get all of that. But my man gets all of that from me. Yeah, but what if when I'm in Phoenix, and you are home with the child? I'm Stephanie yeah. Santiago. I go to Phoenix. But but uh, but our child. Right, right or right. Yes, but our child. I, I ain't got a schedule. Yeah. I'm, I'm just, here with you. But we can. What up? What I'm right here. It's a tough game, road game, you know. Let me nah. That's what I'm saying. There I ain't with yeah. This is what I'm saying. How is this the best? How is this the best? That's horrible. That's what they Whatever do. you want. This is it. This is it, Whatever guys. Whatever you need to eat. This is it, guys. No, you can't come you on the road because you. I you can't come. Uh, you know, you want me to say you want to go somewhere? Yeah, no. No. You can stay over here. I just feel like, um, you know, dating an athlete it is an experience. It is an experience. It's an, and, um, but you know, what is it? You, what, 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 rappers and, are the best. Rappers, they worse than athletes. That's what I'm saying. So who's the, the best? Who's the best? Trash. Who's the best? They said the, the best the, kind of guy for me, my favorite kind of guy is a guy who is whatever he is, whether he's an athlete or he's a drug dealer, he is focused on me. Exactly. He's worried about me. That's it. Yeah, that's, me. That's and the only, best. Only like one side. That's the best. And you could get that from I you could get that from somebody in entertainment. I've gotten it from my entertainment guys, the guys that I've dated in entertainment. I have okay. had like I said, I've had significant love stories. A few times, mm -hmm. and nice. um, as any, as any and and game. the same with the same with dating just the the guy who's not in the entertainment industry. Like I've had some amazing experiences with with guys, and they're rich too. They're rich too. It's yeah. just you just gotta know how to pick them up, ladies. You can't take pick the the, right the guy from the hood that's the the little the little bump from the hood. Yeah. You gotta pick up the best one. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then work your way up from there. Yeah. You go gotta, to the boss. Yeah. Go. You gotta pick the the connect, the levels, and levels. that's it. Yeah. <laughs> And then you just work your way up. That's, That's it. Just yeah. work your way up after that. He gotta be. He gotta be the top one. Like if you're gonna date a guy and if you're gonna pick up something regular, even if he, if he gotta be the top at his company, you know, yeah. if that's what you're looking for, they don't all. They, you know, people act like I, I be seeing shit on Instagram. People like, oh, um, guys after a girl for her taxes. Baby girl. What do you get? Who, what girl, type of guys? Are, where do you find girl, these niggas? If you love that man. <laughs> Oh, and Jesus. you feel like and you feel like this is the right decision. But how? You trust that man. What is he doing? And you know he has a plan for I your family, and he will get you through any storm. I just you do what you have to do. Give that up. He's the head of the household, lady. <laughs> you know he loves you. I don't know. He has your I, best I, I interest in mind. Give him your money. Give him those taxes. Let him. Like I said, I think it's cool to do him, things for your let man. Let him file but the kids. Come on, when you really put <laughs> him up them. and shit, like no. I remember when I was a kid, my first, my first love. He was a fucking bum, and I used to pay for him to live. He came and lived with me in my mother's house. He came and lived with me in, in the hotel. He came and lived with me. I was paying for the hotel. I was literally going to the $2 Mexican he, bar it down, to dance Mexican. You're being disrespectful. To dance, to dance being the disres music with nah, the see, guys. See, but you're yes, slandering a little bit. But was he $2. dicking it down? Was he dicking it down? No, the sex. It was like the it first sex I ever had. Oh, so it was amazing. It was the first sex I ever had. So, so it was, was amazing. out of this world. So you got, that's the I moment. Mean, exactly. I mean, exactly. After I, after I fucked I like you. two other guys. Guys, after I had sex with like two other guys, I was like, "Wow, that was really trash." <laughs> oh, it wasn't those, even good. It wasn't the sex moments, was terrible. But those initial moments, that's gotta count for. Sex. It was the first time I ever had sex, so he taught me a lot. You did, you know. And then so, those, are, those are lessons you can't. Understand. And he used to, you know, he he was I, he he really did eat my pussy really good. You feel me? Like he gave he that's made, an important he made, that work. like make a, a high standard for that from the very jump of me having sex. And that's good. There we go. So now you know, the, so, the 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 head so game I can't gotta be elite. About that. But he, I used to be paying for him. I used to be paying for everything. But you love that man. One time he told me he was fucked up and he needed some money. <laughs> this is so funny. Uh oh, so this is hilarious. I was a little girl too. Love, I was literally hey man, you, a teenager. <laughs> but you loved him. You though. Love but I had a job. I was already this. getting money. <laughs> 
What's wrong with this? You so him, check it out. He goes, oh, I, I, something was happening. I don't remember what was the problem that he needed money. So whatever, I went and I got him like, it was like $400, something like, like that, yeah. you know? But at that time, it was more money for me. No, nah, yeah, $400. $400 was a little, that was a lot, yeah, yeah. a lot of money. Yeah, it was a lot of money. I was a, I was a teenager. Yeah. yeah so so check it out. I let the nigga, I let him go. I, I give him the money. I, 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 I. Whatever. I was renting a room. I was living by myself because I lived by myself a very young age. <laughs> So whatever, I, I was right in a room, right? Not mm-hmm. too far from the block. So I decided to go to the block. Yeah. Because I never would go to the block if I wasn't, like, I never would like being that block girl. But anyway, so I decided to go to the block. I pull up to the block. This guy has a pair of brand new Uptowns on. Okay, crispy, white. Crispy, Ooh. white. <laughs> okay. Like, okay. Oh, okay. I was like, no. Oh, Are you shopping. serious? Are Nigga, you dead shopping? ass? Like he you, couldn't beat it. It was a you sale. You hounded me for this money so that way you could go buy a pair of sneakers. It was a sale. I couldn't believe it. I I told myself that was the last time I ever gave him money too. That was the last time I ever gave him money because I seen them sneakers and I was like, yo, I'm not ever giving this man money ever again. He this totally did me dirty. Let me get right some now. money to get fresh because I don't got it. Right I'm just now. I'm gonna get fresh for you though. Yo, and then we got into a <laughs> big ass. This fight. is for you, babe. This is for you, I'm getting fresh for you. Baby, look how fly I look. Babe, look, look. Babe, babe, hold on, hold on, hold on. Babe, look, 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 look. Babe, look, 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 look. <laughs> look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Damn, yo. I'm killing it. Pull it up on the block. I'm killing it. I'm on the block. Come on. No that wasn't being ungrateful? No way. Yeah. Pull it up, fresh. I just felt like, you know, I got you that money because if you wanted a pair of sneakers, I would have got you a pair of sneakers. Yeah, he, and right I pulled up to the block. He had just came from buying the sneakers. Oh. He, oh. I, he had the, the bag oh, with the sneaker no. box. Oh, with all oh with shit. Couldn't even wait. I was, like, I was trying to get fresh. I was going to take you yeah, out. Yeah. He, he was staying with me anyway. Like well, I said, he, 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 he can't take him back. I just was thinking, like, yo, Steph's. what was he going to uh, do? I'm uh, about to say, he couldn't even take him back. He already put him on his feet. He's like, yeah, I'm wearing them on the street. Can't take, oh, can't shit. return them. Exactly. <laughs> like, oh shit, yeah. beach ass. What? Beach ass. Oh my god, that was like the worst relationship I ever been through in my life. My first you relationship both, was both. the worst. So, Steph. Okay. What's the craziest thing a dude has ever done to like impress you? To like yeah. try to mm, try, try to, to holler, bag you? you know? Try to. I know people are probably you. tired of hearing me talk about this because I've mentioned it a lot on my show, but you know, I had this guy buy me a watch, a crazy watch, and we never slept together. We never I never even touched him, we never kissed. He spent thirty two thousand dollars cash on the watch. Oh, uh, hey, adios. In front of you? Like, yo, oh that Yeah, he went to my jeweler. Right. He went to my jeweler. Shout out to my jeweler Ace. Ace the jeweler in the Bronx. Okay. Ace the jeweler. Pulled up. He pulled up in the Bronx and racks. bought the watch. Hey, in front he of went you, to like, your look, jeweler too. Look at the he money. Went to my jeweler. Yeah. yeah. Or they put the card down. It was cash. No, was cash. the jeweler look said it has to be cash. cash. Of course. Come on. Yes. He he, he, he me, when he was on the way, look I didn't go with him to the jeweler. I didn't even go with him to the oh, jeweler. He yeah. went on his own. Oh. I sent him to the jeweler. So when he was on his way, he sent me the pictures of the cash. Like, yeah. look, it's there. Thirty-two thousand dollars cash. I'm gonna check out the watch right now. How you think he handed it off? You think he handed it off like this? What, what, the, how, how, I don't so know. There's no wrong way to handle it. Like like there's like no that. wrong way to handle it. <laughs> I don't there's know. There's no wrong way. I have Everywhere no idea. <laughs> I mean, God bless his heart. heart. You know, <laughs> no disrespect to him. I still never slept with him. Hey, man. Shout yeah, out to him. There's dudes like that that are fucking the, the game up. No, nah, shout out to him. I definitely kept the watch. I was supposed to give it back. No, no, no. Shout out to him. You don't give the money away for no reason. Like my man Bleak says, everything that I spend comes with services. Yes. Right? Yes. I did say that. I mean, that that's what I'm saying. Like, um, I hear you You said um, um, for Valentine's Day, this girl, she got flown out just for the guys to ask her um, Will you be to my be girl? my girl. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that is the number one recipe of for not ever getting pussy from me is by tricking a lot. <laughs> like, a heavy you get overboard it. tricking. Like yeah, going crazy on it like, before uh. you get it. You never, you don't gotta get it. I got so much out of you already. That's it. Yeah, I don't gotta give you nothing. Damn. Yeah. So you, you good? And also, I'm not gonna. I don't need yeah, to keep and, taking from yeah, you. So There's another keep, one I can and take. And also, from, you're like, probably a serial killer because why are you spending fifty thousand exactly. dollars on me? And Correct. I've never really been nah. around you. And I did some real you. hack like, shit I'm afraid with of the you watch. Now. I did some real hack shit with the watch. So I made him get me the most expensive one. I made him uh-oh. get me the Sky Dweller, big fucking forty 
one millimeter watch. It looks so stupid on my wrist. I look wow. so fucking dumb with so that big goofy fire. ass fucking big, watch. Goofy ass fire. Shining. I was sitting in the club. Looking I was sitting like at, at, at Sin Shining. City in the Bronx. RIP to that club. That was one of my favorite spots. Like, Facts. cheers. Facts. Remember Sin City in the Bronx? Yeah. yeah. Why did you yeah. 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 Shout out to them. Damn. The best club ever. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, was sometimes fire. you want to go where <laughs> Throw that cash <laughs> up. <laughs> no, but and, oh, I was sitting in there, and you know I'm comfortable in there, so I'm sitting in there with the sky dweller or whatever. And my friend comes and sees me, and he's like, "Oh, what's up, Steph? We talking?" Ah, I'm sitting there in the chair, and he's like, "Ha ha ha! What you got your boyfriend's watch on?" Oh. It was over. Get this shit out of here. How much is this? I Made was like, it. "All right, so yeah, I traded it in. I got a president." Yeah, dig. And Lowly I got love. some money. You did. You did. I think I bought a purse. I did some real. Wow. Dio, Dio. I did some Dio, real Dio. Black Dio. with that one. <laughs> some like Dio. I didn't need. I didn't need him. He could have got me the president to start with. I didn't need him to get me that fucking sky dweller. I was just being extra. Damn. Why, like, not? Why, not? Why not? Why not? You live. Once. It worked out. You only live it's like a scratch off. I was just being a cornball. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I feel like I was being a cornball. I feel like I could have got him. He bought me that watch. He could have bought me the president for like 15000 mm-hmm. And then he could have bought me something else. And then, exactly. I could have, I don't, I don't drive though. I don't know how to drive. I like to be driven around. Hey. There you go. I do. I really do. I have my license, but I don't put any, I don't put my foot no into effort. driving. There's no effort yeah. into that. Because I just feel like it wouldn't be safe for myself or the other people for me to drive. <laughs> what is it like your patience? Like, like what is no, it? No, like, man, I'm just having a good time. Is it your I skill, mean, the accuracy? These like, kind of responses. No, are you okay. Not bothered? I like, honestly you, feel like concerned? I have my ADD is so horrible. Yeah. I have ADD. I feel like I'll be driving and then start doing something else and totally forget I'm driving. Like, yes. Yeah. You oh, know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's not safe for the people. It's not. I'm not gonna drive around with my kid in the back. Definitely not. not. I'm not going to drive around my own kid in the back. So if I wouldn't drive around with my... That's how I feel. If it's not safe for me to do it with my kid, then I shouldn't be doing it. Whatever it is. You know what I mean? That's the safest thing to do. Mm Mm-hmm. That sounds like a good rule. That's a good yeah. rule to live by. Yeah. <laughs> if I, if, if, I don't if, feel like I can if do this, this yeah, I'm like not going to bring my kid along. Real right. Talk. Good rule. You know what I mean? So, like, I've heard of crazy stories where, you know, people get into accidents with their kids in the back and... Yeah, we don't want to go there. We smoked it the fuck out today. This episode, we definitely yeah, we definitely got high. Yo, right. Steph, I smoke a lot, huh? Yo, yeah, yo, you, nah, you, this you, is you smoking every blunt like a champ. Yeah, yeah, I can't believe it. Yeah, do people tap out? What? Wow, really? you're the first guest. You're the first yeah, guest. I'm the first. You guest, set the so bar high. You, you are, set the bar yeah, high. You setting the bar high. First lady. Mm. Uh, first welcome lady. back anytime. Thanks. Anytime. Thanks, guys. Like Thank you, you said, you like, you know, yeah. the, she's the first one, so now she can I mean, always, yeah. You can always say, you can always talk shit. Facts. We thank you for pulling up. Yes, mm. thank yeah, you for having me. Thank you for rolling up. Hell yeah. Thank, thank, thank you. you for lighting up. Woo! And getting blunt on the blunt exchange. Yeah. Stephanie Real Santiago. Quick. It was lit. Thank you guys. Oh man. Thanks for having me, guys. Serious. Real talk. Thank you no for problem. coming by. Facts. Real talk. Anytime you want to pull up. Yeah. Anytime, anytime, but we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. No What's up? It's Stephanie Santiago, and you are now watching the Blood Exchange. One hit and I'm floating, better get your shit together, fix your hair for you approach them. I don't pimp them, I just coach them, bitch, stop backing anti-social. Go get daddy money, girl, you know just how I showed you. Uh.